All right, guys, let's be honest, nothing kills the creative vibe like a slow After Effects project. I mean, really, there's nothing more painful than watching your composition freeze every time you nudge a keyframe. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 tricks to speed up After Effects and keep your workflow smooth like butter. OK, tip number one is super basic, but so important. GPU acceleration. If you're not using it yet, then what are you doing? A lot of effects in After Effects support GPU acceleration, which makes them render way faster than CPU alone. So let's turn that on. Go to File, Project Settings, or you can just click the tiny rocket icon in the Project panel. In the pop-up, head over to the Video Rendering and Effects tab. Here, set it to GPU Acceleration. Now, since we're talking about effects, don't just slap on any effect you see in the Presets panel. Not all effects are created equal. Some are super heavy and will slow your render down big time. If you want to know which effects are GPU accelerated, Adobe actually has a full list online. I'll drop the link in the description. Let's move on to the Preview Resolution. This one's an easy fix. At the bottom of your composition panel, you'll see a little drop down where you can switch between full, half, third and quarter resolution. This doesn't change your final render quality, just how it looks when you're working. So if you're animating or just roughing things out, switch to quarter. While you're here, let's also talk about fast preview. You'll see this little lightning bolt icon next to the resolution drop down. Click it and choose adaptive resolution. What this does is automatically lower your resolution while you're dragging stuff around or scrubbing in the timeline. Then it jumps back to full resolution when you stop moving things. It's like After Effects goes, oh, you're just adjusting stuff, let me chill out a bit. Now, the next tip isn't even in After Effects, but it's a big one. Use an SSD, yes, a solid state drive for your cache. When you're working on big projects, After Effects stores a lot of data in your background. If your cache is saved on a slow hard drive, that's gonna slow everything down. Personally, I use a separate external SSD for caching. It's small, it's fast, and it keeps my main drive clutter free. Definitely worth the investment. Now, something you should definitely have in your box of tricks is audio. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Audio is a platform for creators with extremely high quality music and sound effects. You can browse music and sound effects the traditional way or you can use Hands AI, a tool kind of like ChatGPT where you can describe the song you need and boom, endless results based on your description. Now with the Audio Pro app on iOS and Android, you can simply log into your account and browse music and sound effects from there. Whenever I have a moment, I open up the app and start creating background music playlists for my videos. You can then download the music later on your computer. Absolutely beautiful. Now, there's one thing I really want to mention. Whenever you find a song you like, you just click the lightning bolt and audio will give you a huge list with similar songs. I honestly can't imagine going back to regular stock music. Definitely use the code AEBASICS for 70% off the audio pro plan. Check out the link down below. And now we're ready for some more advanced tips. But my guess is that you already know these tips. So let me know in the comments down below which one are new to you. And of course, if you have your own secret, share it with us. We want to know. Next up, multi-frame rendering. This one's a game changer. It allows After Effects to render multiple frames at the same time if your CPU has multiple cores, which it probably does. To turn this on, go to Edit, Preferences, and then Memory and Performance. Here you'll find the checkbox for multi-frame rendering. Enable it and boom, way faster renders. Now let me hit you with a super underrated tip. Cache frames when idle. This is perfect if you're the type to step away for a coffee while your comp sits there. Go to Composition and Preview and enable cache frames when idle. After Effects will automatically start pre-rendering your comp while you're gone or not touching your mouse. So when you come back, everything's already loaded and ready to go. It's like having a helpful assistant that you don't need to pay. Okay, this next one sounds weird, but trust me, it works. Apply your effects to adjustment layers instead of directly to large footage layers. Let's say you're working with 4K footage inside a 1080p comp. If you apply effects straight onto that 4K layer, After Effects still calculates everything in 4K. But if you apply this same effects to an adjustment layer above it, it only processes what's visible in the comp. Way faster. Try it and you'll see the difference. Speaking of efficiency, clean your project. A messy project slows everything down. Too many unused layers and assets, After Effects has to load all of it, even if it's not in your timeline. So go to File, Dependencies and choose Remove Unused Footage. Done. Your project will now be lighter, faster and honestly, just more pleasant to work in. Alright, almost there. Let me show you something I use all the time. The Render Time Panel. I actually don't know if that's the official name, but you can enable this panel with the little snail icon on the bottom of your 
timeline. Click it. Now, every time you preview, After Effects shows you exactly how long each layer takes to render. It's perfect for spotting heavy layers so you can disable them while you're working on other stuff. A true hidden gem. And just before we wrap things up, one last bonus tip. And I'll be honest, I don't really use this one myself, but maybe it's useful for you. Use proxy files. If you're working on a huge project with tons of 4K footage, you can create low-res proxy files and swap them in while you work. Then just switch back to full res for the final export. And that's it. 10 ways to speed up your After Effects. For more tri tri tricks like these, click the video right here on my left. Thank you so much for watching.